If a Marvel show falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, did it make a sound? I've seen all of Echo. So here's what's good and not so good about the new MCU series, all without spoilers. It's a shame Disney has done very little to promote this five episode show, essentially dumping it on Disney Plus in early January, because the show is excellent and easily among the best series Marvel Studios has made so far. They achieve this by bringing a wholly unique, often unseen type of person to the screen as a superhero, a deaf Native American woman with a physical disability. And then head writers Marion Dare and Amy Rarden fully leaned into her identity, making these characteristics a feature, not a bug. Maya feels like a real person, not some poorly shaded, unflappable comic book sketch. And the world around her is defined by authentic representation of indigenous people. The cast features a number of welcome faces that you'll probably remember from Reservation Dogs and Killers of the Flower Moon. It also takes a thoroughly modern approach to its cultural exploration of the Choctaw people, giving us a number of fascinating and beautifully rendered historical and spiritual vignettes. These narrative departures are experimental and bold and just really enriching to the overall experience of Echo. Marvel has gone back to basics here, remembering that it's the people that make its world worth revisiting. This show has a real sense of humanity and it pairs it with grounded street level action. As Marvel's first TVMA series, it did not shy away from the violence and brutality, which is a welcome contrast to almost everything else in the MCU. It's not all punching and kicking though, as they've balanced the action and drama with the right amount of levity. I also want to give a shout out to the sound design, which explores Maya's deafness and often puts us in her head. If I had to nitpick the show, I found the brisk way that the first episode jumped through Maya's backstory to be a bit jarring and inelegant. And there's a lot of clunky expository dialogue throughout the series. And then Alakwa Cox is great at playing Maya's stoicism, but I would have liked to see a little bit more range from her. After a bunch of recent disappointments from Marvel, I'm really impressed with Echo. And the highest compliment I can give this show is that I think even non-Marvel fans might find it interesting.